everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I have received the new Kaoli fragrance. So we're going to unbox, do a first review, first impression, all that jazz. So here we go. Typical packaging with the Kaoli. They use their little lips paper. I think it's cute. Um, I don't think I received anything else with it. I just bought the fragrance. Let's see what we got. So here we have the brand new Kaoli fragrance. This is Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. So I feel like with this new Kaoli, the um, campaign was super hyped. We have been teased for weeks upon weeks with what this is going to be. There were lots of teasers of the notes. There were lots of teasers of what the name was. I actually thought it was Loveliest Bourbon Cherry. Um, I got Cherry right and I got Love right, but it was Love Fest and it is Burning Cherry. Uh, we were pretty much told straight up there was going to be a cherry note. The notes are Burning Cherry, Raspberry, Praline, Palo Santo, Gaiac Wood, and Patchouli. There's also other notes in there. There's Jasmine Sambach and there's like a rose. There's also Tonka Bean and there's Heliotrope as well. Um, this is the 10th Kaoli fragrance. This is their first straightforward cherry fragrance. Invite Only Amber had cherry in it as well, but it was also a very amber and woody and very dark and gourmandish fragrance. And it was also one of their intense fragrances. I believe Invite Only was their first intense fragrance. I may be incorrect on that. Don't quote me. But, um... This is also my first Kaoli fragrance that I purchased myself full on in a box. Um, I was gifted Eden by my husband for Christmas. I was gifted every scent by my friend Claire. And then I purchased Utopia and Elixir in the bottles that are 1.7 ounce. And I also purchased Musk 12 all second hand. I purchased them all um, through like eBay or Mercari. Um, I actually only have a box for Utopia and I bought it used. So this is my first technically purchased Kaoli that I bought myself. Um, yeah, so here we go. We're going to open it. Okay, so it's opened. We've got all the plastic off now. Um, this box is more of like a really, I would almost say it's like a purplish cherry box. It's, it, to me, it doesn't look red. Um, almost like a burgundy purple the box I don't know if you can really see it um, but it has got like a burgundy purple metallic vibe to the box and here we go we're gonna open it the bottle is actually more of that purpley vibe too um, I would almost call it like a deeper red purple yeah it's not so much red um, as it is more of like a burgundy purple metallic. It's very like an emerald almost. It's different. So I only have the 1.7 ounce bottles. I do have one of the 10 fluid ounce bottles, a smaller one of um, Elixir because I love Elixir, but I have this size bottle of everyone. I do not have a 3.4 ounce bottle. The only fragrance that I will probably purchase the 3.4 ounce of is Elixir because I love it. Um, but I have decided to just stick to the 1.7 ounce. That way they're all in unison for size. This makes my fifth, I believe, because I have Elixir, Utopia, Musk, and Eden. So this is my fifth Kaoli. Again, I have had every fragrance from Kaoli except for Vanilla 28. I've never tried it and I don't own it. And I probably will never get it because I don't really love vanilla fragrances. So as you see with me sharing this up close, you see on the back are the notes. As Mona described, this is the first Kaoli bottle that they are going to put the notes on the back. Um, she said from here on out, that will be the routine. They will have the notes on the back. So I'm guessing number 11 will have the notes. I don't know if they'll re-release the original nine with the notes on the back, but that's the future. Um, again, Burning Cherry, Raspberry, Praline, Palo Santo, Gaiac Wood, and Patchouli. Typical gold topper. I believe they're all gold. The diamond. Nothing has changed here. So here we go. This is the first initial spray and my initial reaction.
Okay, so. Initial spray. It, it's definitely cherry. Um, it doesn't smell as woody as I worried because it, it was described a really burning woody scent. It I like it. I don't get cherry burning. I just get warm woody cherry. Um, immediately, it immediately reminds me of Zara's cherry smoothie. Yeah, if you have Cherry Smoothie by Zara, you have Love Fest by Kayali. They're identical. This is just a little bit of a warmer cherry. This is a traditional cherry scent. That there's nothing non-cherry about this. Um, I will say, again, immediately I get similarities to Cherry Smoothie by Zara. I even get the Victoria's Secret Cherry Elixir Body Spray. A little tiny bit of Rouge Smoking by BDK. But that's it. Um, it's one of the woodier, warmer cherries. It's pleasing. There's definitely praline. I smell the praline and the cherry very prevalent. Um, it's very pretty. It's it's warm and sultry. It will be wonderful in the winter, I believe. I don't particularly think this is something you would want to grab in the summer. It's still warm here where I live. Um, I'm not getting any patchouli. So if you're worried about the patchouli, maybe it'll be in the dry down, but right now I don't get any patchouli. I'm just getting a sweet cherry and praline with a lot of wood but not wood in a bad way. Cause I did say it's not a woody cherry. It is more of like a sweet, warm cherry. So the warm makes you think of woods. It's smoky kind of, I definitely get a smoky vibe. I believe Mona even said it's kind of smoky. And I think that comes from the guyac wood. I think that's how you say it, guyac. That's what I've been saying or guac, I don't know, guyac wood. It's like a smoky wood and that's what warms this up. It, it's definitely one of the most mature fragrances. I think this would go really well with like Utopia. If you wanted like a really sweet, warm cherry coconut, um, maybe even Eden, if you wanted like a super like smoky cherry Jolly Rancher. Um, I could even see this going well with Elixir. We'll have another video soon with comparisons and I will catch you then. Thanks. Bye.